Hey guys, welcome back to Oral Mechanics. In today's video, guys, a short video how to replace ambient temperature sensor on BMW E46. This one, you know, that we have is a 2005 model, but it should be the same procedure from 1998 when they started making it until 2005 6 when they stopped. So we have a code, guys, uh, that is uh, P0. Okay, let me show you right here. P0070. Okay, that code right here ambient temperature sensor circuit so we have a bad sensor according to that uh, diagnostic tool which is very convenient it says that it's only a 12 dollar fix uh, it doesn't mean that it's really a 12 dollar fix that doesn't include labor and stuff but the part is very inexpensive and it is right here okay what happened to ours actually we we lost it because we hit something on the road and it came loose so stay with us to see how we're going to do that now so we will be lifting the front end of the vehicle, since we do that uh, we have to secure, okay, the, uh, usually we do the opposite side, okay, on diagonal, okay, let me get there, okay, with the car stop, uh, with the tire stops right there, you have to have the emergency brake on, okay, and make sure that the car is in park as well. Next, we are going to find our lifting point. And we will jack okay, the front tire up. We already broke the lug bolts loose. If you have impact, you don't even have to worry about that. Okay, and just get it up in the air. Okay, that's a rapid, rapid pump jack, low profile, but it goes quite a bit up. Okay, right there. Next, we'll need to make sure that we use a jack stand as well, guys. Never ever rely on the jack itself because if it fails and you're under the vehicle, it's go the car will fall on you. Find a location where you can install it, okay? And after that, we'll show you what else we're going to do. Okay, we just need it a little bit more there. Okay, right there. Okay guys, once the car is up, you can go on the front left and you'll find the sensor, okay, it's uh, on this vehicle, is right here, you can see we have only the wire, because we lost our sensor, okay, but it goes right here, okay, in this house, stay with us and we'll show you guys how to, how to replace it and install a new one now. Okay guys, this is the sensor right here, I installed one, just to show you how you guys remove it and how you install it, so you have a better idea. You grab it with two fingers, push it in, okay, like that. You have to come out of the hole, go down, pull it out. Okay, this is the wire now. Right here, okay, you need to press this thing up, or press on the back side right here. Okay, and you pull it out. I'm going to grab the new sensor now, okay, push it in until it clicks. You have to go in go through the hole here and just pull until it clicks there okay like that it's stuck there now okay we are ready to pull the jack stand out of there let the jack down and stay with us to see if the new sensor works okay guys so you can see the new sensor now it shows 67 68 degrees so it works perfectly fine uh, we that's how we guys do it super simple on that e46 thank you guys for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time